assalamu alaikum students today we are going to solve uh, pmc test number 29 so let's begin with question number 181 according to the information on this page items bought before 1940 days more than items made after the that year so we have to provide the correct form of verb so again whenever this kind of question is asked you have to look at the subject of the sentence right uh, in this sentence in this part actually item is our subject items is a plural right so items bought before 1940 days more than the items made after that year so with plural subject we have to provide um, a verb without s right so it will be option number d items bought before 1940 cost more than items made after that year ठीक है थोड़ी देर के लिए आप ये जो पार्ट है बोर्ड आफ्टर 1940 को भूल जाएं और देखें कि सब्जेक्ट के साथ प्लूरल है या फिर सिंगुलर है सिंगुलर के साथ आप वर्ब के साथ ऐसे ये लगाते हैं बट विद प्लूरल वी डोंट पुट एनी काइंड ऑफ एस और ई एस विद वर्ब ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एट टू से अर्थ डेज अराउंड द सन अगेन it's a fact so with fact we have to choose a verb with s right so option b is our answer the earth moves around the sun question number 183 says the robbers fell dash amongst themselves over the sharing of the loot uh sentence ka matlab ye hai ki robbers aapas mein jagar pade wo jo chori ki wo chori ki hui jo saman tha uske taqseem ke upar theek hai so फेल um, के साथ हम कौन सा यहाँ पे प्रपोजिशन लगाएंगे तो प्रॉपर हमारे पास जो करेक्ट uh, आंसर है वो ऑप्शन ए है फॉल आउट फॉल आउट का मतलब ये है कि uh, एक दूसरे के साथ झगड़ना uh, किसी uh, किसी बात के ऊपर या किसी मसले के ऊपर सो ऑप्शन ए सब आंसर फेल आउट ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एट फोर चूज द करेक्ट स्पेलिंग ऑफ द वर्ड सम थिंग सो द वर्ड इज सम uh it's very obvious okay option a is our answer so most of the students make a mistake they write some uh, and thing separately right so this is a one word you always write some and thing together and um, question number 185 says choose the correct sentence so here we have to look at uh, we have to look and uh, choose the sentence with correct punctuation uh huda watched the news on the bbc so the last part actually is the one we have to uh have to focus on right so bbc first of all is a tv channel british broadcasting channel so whenever there is an abbreviation abbreviation that they have short form okay so abbreviation is always written in capital letters and then you always you also know that uh, we put a full stop at the end of the sentence uh, according to this option a is our answer the watched watched the news on the bbc question number 186 the umpire and the two teams walked out onto the dish so according to situation um, which word suits the last part of the sentence so you know umpires and the teams they uh, they are playing some kind of st- sports so um, they uh, obviously they might be playing cricket so the cricket is played on the pitch right this ke upar jo batsman batting karte hain us part us area ko hum pitch kehte hain so option d is our answer question number 187 what is the tense of this question did you go to the chemist on your way home uh, the meaning of this question is uh, yeah aap medical store gaye the aate hue the sentence is obviously in the past tense did whenever you uh, see this word did in the sentence you can always uh, choose the past option right did uh, means it is in the past tense okay question number 188 the boy ran away uh, what kind of sentence it is uh, is it simple complex uh, compound so as you can see there is only one subject and one verb so it will be a simple sentence 
you guys uh, already know about the types of sentence if you don't just leave a comment then we are going to make another video on that topic question number 189 should have and uh, now we have to choose the contraction form of uh, should have so we write should have in short form as it is written in option number b should apostrophe and then we e should have question number 190 sit down what type uh, what form of sentence it is uh, again when there is uh, an order or, an, or a request is always an imperative form of the sentence sit down it's actually a uh, order right come here go there bring it so whenever this form of sentence you see it is an order and order in request are always imperative form of sentences question number 191 to an outsider the economics of this country dish to be in this way so um, again in subject verb agreement you have to see um, what is the subject in this part of the sentence the economics is actually our subject uh, it's singular don't say it is plural if you see as at the end of economics uh, it's a name of discipline like physics maths um, linguistics these are the name of disciplines and they take s but still they are uh, considered as a singular noun right so with singular noun you uh, put s or es in the present indefinite tense the economics of this country seems to be in this way ek bahar se aane wale shakhs ke liye hamare mulk ki jo maishat hai wo ek ghair munazzam tarah se nazar aayegi uske liye theek hai uh, question number 192 say my brother's birthday is stage the 5th of november okay so here we have to choose the correct preposition with the date uh, we use on on the 5th of november on 26th of july right so with dates we use um on right uh, with months and years we use in in november 2006 uh, we are going to uh, pass our exams okay so yes next is question number 193 use the correct spelling of the word again it's a tricky word accept take accept uh Kesiva. one uh, is a double c e p t uh, and um, it means bulgana but e with uh except with spelling of EXCPT it means Kesiva all of you can go except Nadir Nadir Kesiva sak ja sakte hain and option A is our answer question number 194 by the next month we shall dish the project so we have to provide the correct form of the verb complete um, so here it means uh, agle maadak um, ye project complete kar chuke honge. So it should be in the future and we shall have completed the project. Um, agle mother, ye project complete kar chuke honge. Abhi isne complete nahi kiya, balke karne wale, karne wale hain agle maath tak. So option D is our answer. We should have complete, we should have completed the project. Okay. Then question number 195. He was dish in the rain then. He was enjoying in the rain then. Okay, it's a past continuous tense. Question number 196. She hoped to find a new job, one that would let her earn during the school year. Uh, Mother Deva. So here we have to find the error. Error kaha pe hai in this part job, new job. Right? So the sentence is uh, the sentence doesn't end here. So we don't need to put a full stop after a job. We should put a comma, right? Uh, one jo have easy job to explain kara hai. hai. A C job. Uh jo isko so we should put a comma here and then 
one uh, the first letter of one should be a small letter right option c is our answer question number 197 choose the correct sentence again we have to provide the sentence with correct punctuation so sentence is mr and mrs jalal stated we refuse to use the elevator because of mechanical problems Mr. and Mrs. Jalal نے کہا کہ ہم نے elevator کو استعمال کرنے سے انکار کر دیا کیونکہ اس میں مشینی خرابی تھی So whenever you start a sentence with narrations you have to put a comma after the person who is saying the sentence and then the word which is said should be put in inverted commas right So here our answer should be option number b option number b right so uh, after uh, state it aapne jo first letter hai jo inverted commas ke andar usko small mein likhna hai usko capital mein nahi likhna theek hai again capital mein tab likhte hain jab aap full stop lagate hain theek hai yahan pe humne full stop nahi lagaya balki ye pichle sentence ke sath ke baad hi aa raha hai theek hai so option b is our answer question number 198 neither me nor my parents they is aware of the incident um here neither me nor my parents they is aware of this incident is ka matlab ye hai ki na main aur na hi mere walidain is waqiye se aagaat hai right so yahan pe dekhiye kyunki parents hai parents plural hai mere walidain اس میں آپ کے والد والدہ بھی شامل ہوتے ہیں اس وجہ سے یہ پلورل ہے پلورل کے ساتھ ہم ورڈ لگاتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے وہ نہیں لگاتے ہیں تو یہاں پہ آپشن ڈی ہمارا آنسر ہوگا اگر اس کی جگہ یہ ہوتا کہ نیدر مین اور آسم دیش اویر آف انسیڈنٹ یہاں پہ آپ وہ لگاتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے یہاں پہ کیونکہ نہ میں نہ آسم اس بات سے آگاہ تھا لیکن یہاں پہ جو ہے سیکنڈ پارٹ میں پیرنٹس ہے جو کہ پلورل ہیں اس لیے ہم نے یہاں پہ ورڈ لگایا ہوا ہے Maryam dish Maryam enjoys eating dish cheese question number 199 so yaha pe dekhe humne proper uh, correct form of article use karna hai Maryam enjoys eating dish cheese yaha pe uh, in this sentence we don't uh, need to add any article here because it is said in general sense theek hai Maryam enjoys eating cheese Maryam ko cheese khana pasand hai so uh, agar yaha pe koi specific چیز ہوتا فار ایگزامپل اف آئی سے ہو ایٹ دا چیز وچ آئی پٹ آن دا ٹیبل آن ہو ایٹ دا چیز وچ آئی پٹ آن دا ٹیبل میں نے وہ جو چیز رکھی تھی ٹیبل کے اوپر وہ کس نے کھائی تو یہاں پہ دیکھیں چیز اسپیسفک تھا وہ چیز جو میں نے رکھی تھی اس لیے ہم نے دل لگایا تھا لیکن یہاں پہ ان جنرل ہے کہ مریم انجوائز ایٹنگ چیز مریم کو چیز کھانا پسند ہے اس لیے ہم جنرل سینس میں کوئی بھی آرٹیکل نہیں لگاتے اسپیسفک سینس میں ہم آرٹیکل دا لگا لیتے ہیں سو آپشن ڈی از اور آنسر فار کوشچن نمبر ون نائن نائن نیکسٹ کوشچن از کوشچن نمبر ٹو زیرو زیرو وچ ٹینس از یوز آئی وین ٹو اسکول یسٹر ڈے تو یہ جو ٹینس ہے کون سا یہ جو سینٹینس ہے یہ کس ٹینس میں ہے آئی وین ٹو دا اسکول آبویسلی اٹ از ان دا پاس ٹینس گو وینٹ گون سو وینٹ از ان دا پاس ٹینس اینڈ دین یسٹر ڈے شوز اٹ از اباؤٹ وچ یو اسپینڈ yesterday right okay so with this we have completed our uh, paper number 29 and uh, we are going to solve another paper on the next video see you inshallah take care Allah Hafiz.